Hi there, Aquarius. So I feel like the theme for this month here is all about self-improvement and the ways in which you can improve yourself has to do with uh, grabbing opportunities in which you can learn, in which you can pretty much learn to do things the right way or the smart way. You know, a lot of the times, because you're so independent, I feel like, you know, you want to rush in and try it out and then see how you feel. And uh, I feel like as well, you people might give you advice, but you don't you hear it, but you don't really listen to it and you don't really take it to heart. And that's because you have this innate sense of knowing what works for you. And I feel like a lot of the times, too, if you're doing things too deliberately or too by the book, it can bring about that sense of routine, that sense of, you know, oh, the discovery is no longer there. The uh, spontaneity is no longer there if we're, we're doing things too much by the book. But I feel like coming in for the month of December, uh, learning to do things the proper way, learning to do things in a methodical manner. Um, it's not going to feel f it's not going to feel boring. It's going to feel a lot more invigorating because, you know, you like to be very efficient with your time, with your energy. So I feel like doing it the right way, learning it properly and then expending minimal amount to get like the optimal outcome. That is something that you're striving for. I feel a lot of people working on self-improvement, expanding their knowledge, taking courses, um, and I also feel like, you know, health and fitness, I'm also sensing as well, uh, changing or reinventing the way that you look. And, uh, you know, it's the winter time right now in the northern hemisphere. But I feel like for some of you, you're dressing up, you're covering yourself up more. And I don't feel like it has anything to do with the weather. I feel like it's more dressing a little bit more appropriately, a little bit more age appropriately. I don't know if that's even a thing, but that's what you're striving for. Um, and I see you covering yourself up more, dressing more professionally and more appropriately. So I do feel like um, a wardrobe change. And I'm also sensing as well, people taking pictures for IDs, for passports, for school ID, work ID, state IDs identity cards and I do see a lot of paperwork where you need to sign on the dotted line or you need to put in pictures and so you're going to you know take pictures just to get those items done so overall the theme of this month looks to me to be very 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 good and I feel overall a lot of um, new energies are coming into the picture for you I do feel as well a uh, contracts agreement if you've been kind of waiting on other people to send paperwork or to finalize paperwork that is definitely going to clear up and if it's been you know kind of on the back of your mind and kind of like this dark cloud hanging over you when is it going to be done when am I going to get you know the final results when am I going to be able to move on that's going to be done and over with okay so it looks good. Um, I do sense as well, I don't feel like, you know, severe medical issues, but I do feel uh, annual checkups. I also feel as well, um, like maintenance, maintenance on your car and also on your physical body. So eye checkup, ear checkup, health checkup. And these are more routine, okay? And I, I feel like the health situation overall, the only thing I'm concerned with is you're not getting enough sleep. I do see some of you with bags under your eye or around your eyes or like, you know, not getting, um, you could sleep for like 10 hours, but you're not very rested. And that's because your mind is constantly racing before you sleep. And so you go to sleep physically very exhausted, but your mind is very alert. And as a result of it, it's making it a little bit difficult for you to completely shut down your mind, shut down your body and get, you know, in, in your proper REM, uh, REM hours of sleep and hit that REM cycle and, you know, be rested when you wake up. So that's something that you need to uh, take care of, okay, because the quality of sleep is actually very important. Um, 
this is a month where things will start to clear up for you. So I see a lot of overcoming obstacles. I see a lot of letting go. I see a lot of self-improvement, which is always good to see. And I'm also seeing you putting in the time, putting in the work so that you can study so that you can learn so that you can kind of like you know let go of that ego where I know what I'm doing I know I want to do this on my own I feel like you're a lot more open to other people in other people's inputs advice and um, collaboration okay so let me get one last card here uh, we're right off the bat I feel like there are a lot of things that are ending and new things that are emerging for you. And it seems like the new things that are coming into the picture, they're not all, you know, like surprises. I feel like they've been in the works for quite some time. And this is the month where it actually starts turning, the wheel starts turning and things are moving in your favor. Okay, so let me go into this spread. Um, the first thing that I am, that came out here, this is residual energy from the month of November. This is moving, moving all your stuff, gathering all, all of your things. And it's a difficult process because it is physically very, very taxing, right? Um, I mean, there's a better way where that he can hold these wands, but you know, as stubborn as you are, you choose not to. So you're just like, I'm going to rough it out. I'm going to do this on my own. And um, I do feel that it's chores and responsibilities and, you know, like uh, physical items that you have to move from one place to the next. And when it's in the reverse, I almost feel like there are people coming into the picture. They're calling you, they're contacting you, and they're offering their assistance. So what you thought you had to do alone, I feel like it's being heavily alleviated by the inputs by the aid and the assistance of other people. And so I do feel for many of you, there was a major big move that has happened. I also feel that the move is taking you out of the vicinity of a love relationship. So if you're in a uh, relationship with someone, um, the move might have taken you away from them. And you know, that could be a blessing or that could be something that um, you're trying to work out. But either way, I do feel a little bit of a geographical distance here. And I'm also seeing as well that the relationship itself, it's still ongoing, it's still intact, it's still bringing you a lot of joy, contentment, satisfaction. And I also feel that the partner is still heavily involved here. And some of you have recently, self-improvement is coming in with this card, okay? Who am I giving my energy to? Who am I allowing into my energy bubble? And I feel like you're making conscious decision. If it's just like a sexually gratifying type of a relationship, you're no longer entertaining it. And if it's a relationship where there have been, you know, somebody was dealing with substance abuse or somebody was dealing with being taken advantage of or somebody was just, you know, like overall, this is not indicating a healthy relationships and relationships can also be you know family members co-workers um and i especially feel like this is habits ways of relating to another person um if the relationship is not bringing you that sense of buoyancy if you feel dragged down bogged down or um talked down on in existing relationships i feel like some of you are picking up the pieces, moving on, and I feel like you're moving on on your own, okay? It's not like you're transitioning from one relationship to the next. I feel like many of you are moving on completely, breaking away from bad relationships that are no longer serving you, and especially a work environment that have really chipped away at your self-esteem. Either way, I do sense that you have a lot of support, you have family that is going to kind of gather up and give you that sense of um, that emotional safety net. So you have a lot of blessings coming into the picture, but it's contingent upon you doing it on your own, being a little bit more deliberate about asking for help and being a little bit more deliberate about, you know, not being stubborn that I'm going to do this on my own. 
I feel that you're going to collaborate and rely on advice and rely on inputs from other people so that you feel a little bit safer. I feel moving forward. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of the times too, being one of the most independent signs of the Zodiac, we value ourselves. And I feel like this might be true for you guys. You value on yourself based on your ability to take care of yourself. Like it's a very, um, it's a very empowering process, right? Like if you're able to take care of yourself, if you know what you're doing, if you don't know, need other people, but sometimes when we are caught between, this is what I call like a rock and a hard place. When we're caught between decisions that, that we've been mulling over and over and over and over with, I feel like it might be good for you to get an outsider's perspective. Okay. And especially because you have some great people that really care about you. Okay. Um, so I do feel overall that there's a lot of things here about letting go. The worst is over. It's done and over with, and I don't feel that you're going to need to fear it anymore. Okay. Um, I do see as well with the sun, this is a career card. This is a major, major professional development and a major breakthrough type of a card. And what it denotes to me is there are new jobs, contract sign work that you are starting for many, many of you. And I feel like it's going to bring a lot of positive energy. It's going to bring a lot of wealth, a lot of prosperity. And for some reason, I feel like you're interacting with a lot of people you are educating people you're in the limelight and what the, the words that you use the way that you communicate has a lot of bearing has a lot of weight so whatever messages you're communicating to other people they're gonna hang you hang on your every words they're gonna take you at face value so the things you say is very very important and so the major theme here i feel is we can't really bluff it we're accountable for what we say, what we know, what we believe we know, and how we um, arrive at certain conclusions. So you're going to be required to be very, very responsible with the things that you say. If you tell someone, I'm going to get back to you, I'll get back to you by, you know, before the end of business day today, they're going to hold you accountable. And if you say it, but you don't mean it, this is the month where I feel like, you know, it will be found out or it will be, it will be, um, it's necessary to be accountable for your actions. Okay. And I'm also feeling as well with this card, it's somebody that has a lot of potential. And I always see this as like, um, an air sign type of a card. It's somebody with a lot of potential, with a lot of knowledge under his belt, his or her belt. And it's somebody that has a lot of tools, has a lot of ways in which they can solve a problem. When it's in the reverse position, once again, be very careful about, you know, wanting to do it on your own, stubbornly clinging on to like an old paradigm or a, a way, an old way of doing things and not being open to su suggestions, not being open to advice, not being open to other people's way of doing. And I also feel as well, some of you are very, very good at synthesizing ideas. It's, it's almost like normal people have to go through the steps, you know, and whereas for you, your mind works so fast that you can skip steps and you would be okay. But because we also are also dealing with a very heavy Mercury retrograde period from December 2nd until December 23rd, the, the steps that you kind of skip over or gloss over, I feel like they're going to be very important. So the things that you do for this month, Aquarius, is to make sure you cross your T's, dot your I's, make sure that if you're telling somebody, I'm going to get back to you, you know, on a certain date, on a certain time, or with a specific result, that you write it down on your notebook, write it down on your planner so that you don't forget because I feel like this is an energy of somebody who's a little bit scattered, who has a lot of tools and they might get lost in all that they have to do and they might not, you know, um, pay attention to the details. Okay. So that's just something that I feel would be very, very necessary. Um, 
I'm also feeling as well, you know, try to, I'm seeing pictures taken. So be careful about, needless to say, be careful about criminal activities because from this card, I'm seeing pictures taken. And um, usually this is, you know, uh, sneaky types of behavior. And um, I also feel like it could be something as simple as, you know, getting your pictures taken for a job, for a badge, for um, a secure, like a, a clearance card, or it could be getting your mugshot taken. So just be careful, okay? Um, this is a month to do things by the book, to kind of like walk the line, to not shake things up and stir things up because I feel like things are not moving as fast as you would like. It's not lightning speed for you. And so you might want to cut corners. Just please be very careful about that. Okay. This is not the month to test fate. All right. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, the other thing that I'm feeling here is, um, first of all, let me talk about this health situation. This is medical clearance. This is checkup. This is like feeling good in your body, feeling comfortable in your own skin. So I'm feeling a lot of self-improvement with many of you where you are taking better care of yourself. You're taking better care of your health. You could also be letting go of old habits as well. Smoking, drinking, uh, binge eating, uh, putting things in your body that your body is rejecting. So I do see a very, very high level of like um, um, allergens, pathogens entering your body and your body is kind of rejecting it. So for example, um, for example, let, let's just say um, in the past, you might not have had any, you know, allergies to pollen and uh, grass and dust. And all of a sudden, this is the month where it starts to act up and you're going to have to, you know, get it taken care of and also alleviate or your, your symptoms by removing the sources of allergens in your household. I'm feeling very strongly that this is like smoke, smog, allergens, mold, and things related to that. So if you have children and they're constantly trekking in dirt, I feel like you're going to be very strict about, you know, leaving shoes outside. If you have pets, you're going to be very obsessive about cleaning up after them or kind of um, delegating a specific area in the house where they can hang out so that the pathogens and the allergens don't get trekked into the house. And this is also as well, I see a lot of smoking, a lot of smoking. And uh, I feel like, you know, you're trying to detox. You're trying to get rid of all these pathogens in your body. Um, some of you, I do see eye checkups as well, okay? Eyes, ears, and um, health, routine health checkup, just so you can get this green light that your health is okay, like a clean bill of health. Uh, I'm seeing teeth as well. So if you have the time, you know, try to, towards the end of the year, I don't know how healthcare is with in other countries, but in the U.S., if you have healthcare, we do have a um, we do have like a yearly deductible or yearly premium. If it's not used up, you might want to you know use it up. Okay, so go get checkup because if there are some things that have been kind of worrying you, I feel like you're gonna get a clean bill of health. So this to me seems like it's a little bit more routine. Okay, if you have had as well chronic back pain, I do feel that many of you there's gonna be a very quick fix. OK, it's not going to go away like overnight, but I feel like at least get some uh, a second opinion or at least get a, um, a specialist opinion as to what is causing it so that you can do some simple fixes. And a lot of it is getting yourself more physically active, changing your diet slightly. So I feel like you're going to get a clean bill of health. So it's a really good month to get all these things checked on. OK. Um, usually when these luminaries come out and especially, you know, with the sun, moon and the star, the sun and the star are probably the two best cards in the deck and they're both in their upright position. So I feel like the message coming from this card here is you are divinely guided to get yourself where you need to be. Okay, so whatever turbulence, whatever relationship hassle, whatever the situation is where you felt like it was out of your control, where you felt like you had to tiptoe on, you know, walk on eggshells around the other person as to not upset the other person, 
I feel like you're not going to have to do that anymore. So this month, the energy is a lot more expansive. It's a lot more comfortable. It's you feeling good about, you know, being in your own skin and, and being in your own shell. So I do feel overall that the energy of last month, you've dropped a lot of things. You've gotten rid of a lot of things. And so you have new beginnings coming in and professionally things are looking very, very good. The last card that I want to um, just quickly look at here. So we have somebody in your work environment. So this is a fire sign and I feel for whatever reason, this is work related, okay? Uh, fire sign. So this is a Sagittarius, an Aries or a Leo. I usually think of this person as somebody who's who could be like the fire sign or somebody who is a supervisor or a manager or somebody that you're reporting to or somebody that has like a lot of control over over your professional development. OK, so um, as the, the manifestation of this person is a fire sign and it just so happens that air signs and fire signs are incredibly compatible. So you have somebody that's really rooting for you. You have somebody that doesn't micromanage, gives you a lot of independence, gives you a lot of space, gives you a lot of room to do your own thing. So as you can see, this person has a lot of fortitude because they, they can see you making a mistake. They're not going to say anything about it because they're going to wait for you to identify the mistakes and then fix them. So I feel like that's what's happening. They're, they're going to trust that you can catch the mistakes or they're going to trust that you're going to right a wrong or that you are capable and skilled enough to, you know, uh, fix a situation. So you have somebody who's really rooting for you. You have somebody who's very hands off. They trust in your skills. They trust in your capabilities. They trust in um, what you have, like they, they trust that you know what you're doing. So they feel like that you're very competent. For some of you, this can be a, um, a Leo person. So I'm, I'm feeling here with the, the sun card. And if this is a, if this is a boss, I feel like they're really crucial for your professional development. If this is a supervisor, there's somebody that, you know, whenever you're, you find yourself like stuck, you come to them, they have the answers for everything. So I feel like you're really going to admire this person. You're going to follow in their footsteps and they're going to make life a lot more, well, professionally, they're going to make life a lot more invigorating, a lot more fun, a lot more um, spontaneous for you. Okay. So we have some really positive things here. And I'm happy to see this for you, Aquarius. You've been getting good readings for the past few months. And I feel like um, the catalyst for that is, you know, the fact that you're consciously taking control of your life. I've read for Pisces and a lot of the Piscean people seem to be very, very stuck. Um, emotionally, they're very, very stuck. And I feel like with you, with you guys, um, you're always itching for new things like new uh, experiences. And I feel like you're very willing to take risk and hope for the best. And so because of that, I do feel that overall, it's a very, very good um, few months that you've had mainly because you know, you're pushing yourself to be on the path for self improvement and for expanding your opportunities and grabbing opportunities when they come in and you know really pushing yourself so that you can achieve more so i'm really happy to see this aquarius i wish you all the best and uh, i'll be back for the mid-month reading keep at it and best of luck for you guys bye bye